Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Karina from Paradigm Thrifts. If you are new here, welcome. I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. And today's video is specifically for all of my reseller moms out there. I know that it is fall, which means it's back to school season. And even though my daughter isn't in school yet, we are trying to get her into preschool this fall. So I wanted to make this video for anybody who might have some trouble transitioning into back to school season or just, you know, anybody who is maybe struggling with balancing parenthood with running a successful reselling business. Today's video is actually in collaboration with one of my friends, a fellow reseller and a fellow YouTuber, Ashley Wheeler. If you guys are not already subscribed to her channel, pause this video now and go subscribe to her channel. She'll be linked down in my description. Her video is going to be focused on tips for moms for prepping for Q4. Q4 is our busiest season as resellers, so definitely once you are done watching this video, hop over to her channel and give her video a watch as well. In preparation for today's video I wanted to reach out to some other reseller mamas out there and see if they would share some tips that they had like I mentioned earlier my daughter's four so she's pretty much at home with us the whole time when we're working we being me and my fiance um, we don't have childcare or she wasn't in daycare or anything we are very fortunate that we live near family who can help watch her whenever we are busy or if we have to do anything so we haven't had any issues with that, but I wanted to reach out to some other resellers to see what kind of tips that they had for back to school season and for parenting and reselling in general. We're gonna be hearing from four reseller mamas and I'm so excited to introduce you to them. They are wonderful people, wonderful moms, and they're sharing some great tips. I even learned some stuff while I was watching the videos that they sent in to me um, to share to you guys. So yeah, I wanna show you guys what they have to say and at the end I will share some of my tips as well. Sorry for the background change. While I was editing, something funky happened. But anyway, you are going to be hearing from Veronica from Flip Journey, Mandy from Brick Road Co., Becky from Becky Park on Poshmark, and Jen from Evelia Collection. So grab your drink and let's all hang out and listen to what these wonderful women have to say. Hey guys, it's your girl Veronica, also known as Flip Journey on the Poshmark and Instagram app. One of my biggest tips that I would give my reseller mamas trying to get back into the groove of sourcing while the kids are in school. And that is, I'm a firm believer in that saying, the early bird gets the worm. I love to get to the thrift store early in the morning, right when they open at nine o'clock. Um, I find that usually people don't start getting there about 10 or 11. So that gives me about an hour to quickly look through the entire racks and um, be able to find the inventory that was left over from the weekend or that was put up was put out um from the night before and um they also start bringing out the new racks around like 9 30. so not only do i get to browse the store quickly i'm able to be there alone so that's one of my biggest tips that i would give to my reseller mamas Hi everyone, my name is Mandy and I go by the handle Brick Road Co on all social media and reselling platforms. Thank you so much Karina for inviting me to be a part of this YouTube collaboration. I joked around with Karina actually when she asked me to do this video because um, I said I don't even know if I've really found the balance myself. And I said that jokingly, but I think that that is a very important piece to this. So that brings you to my first tip, which is balancing those two things is always going to be a moving target for you. So just when you feel like you've gotten the hang of things, it's going to shift. So having flexibility and understanding that balance is certainly a moving target will be a benefit to you. Second tip I have, if you have kiddos that are school age, it would be to block out your tasks during those hours. I like to film all of my content that requires filming or any kind Kind of quiet when my kids are out of the house. Additionally, I try to do most of my work when they're not home so that way we can spend quality time together. The next tip I have is to communicate with your family when you're overwhelmed and also ask for help. So I know not every family member is going to be as willing or able to participate, but I do think communication is key. So if you are having a deadline or something super stressful going on with your work, communicate that to your family, let them know. Use appropriate terms for their age and express to them that you've got a lot going on right now and you could either use some help or at the very least just need uh, people to be maybe a little bit more self-sufficient 
for the day or the week. Hope that this was valuable information for you. Thanks again, Karina. Bye. First of all, thank you so much, Karina and Ashley, for asking me to be a part of this collaboration video. Um, if I had one tip for working moms, for working reseller moms, it would be to maximize the little time that you have for your reselling business. And what I mean by that is, if you have that rare hour to yourself where you get to photograph and list and do all those different things, maximize that hour. Turn on the do not disturb or sleep function of your phone so that you don't see any notifications come in. You know, turn off any sort of distractions that you can. If you have a partner who, you know, is at home with you, ask them to um, be kind of on call in case the kids wake up or whatever it is that the kids are doing. But really get the most out of that hour by making sure that you shut down any other distractions that there may be. Because, you know, I feel like we spend so much of our time multitasking, but the truth of the matter is, is that we just don't get as much done, there's the postman, <laughs> we just don't get as much done when we're multitasking. So if you're able to fully commit that, you know, rare time that you've put aside for yourself to your reselling business, do it and you'll get so much more done, even if you don't have that much time. So Jen from Evelia Collection was having a little bit of technical difficulties and she wasn't able to film a video portion for you guys, but she did send me in her tips, so I'm just gonna read those off to you guys right now. Jen writes, parenting is hard. Working from home while parenting is harder. I've been reselling for almost five years and I've quit my full-time job to stay home with my youngest. Between my husband and I, we have four kids from the ages of four to 17. So needless to say, it's a busy household. My youngest just started preschool, so up until now, I've been working full-time with him at home. Selling on Poshmark and eBay is my full-time job, and I own a soap-making business on the side. My number one tip is to ask for help when you need it. Whether it's your significant other, friends and family, or the kids themselves, have everyone pitch in for the reselling work. Little kids love to build boxes. And housework. Don't be afraid to let them know what they can do to help out and how essential it is to have everything work smoothly. The other option is to hire outside help such as maybe a babysitter for a couple of hours throughout the week or hiring home, a home cleaner, landscaper, etc. One other very important thing to do is to make sure you are utilizing all of the tools the platforms you sell on have to offer. This includes hiring VAs where needed and using automation services. Also be sure you're following resellers on social media, YouTube, and podcasts where you can learn tips for becoming efficient as well as keep up to date on all the new features on the platforms. If you have small children that are at home with you while you're working, try to keep some healthy educational programs as well as fun play plays for them to play in your work area. We use ABC Mouse, PBS Kids, and we have both drawing and toy areas in my space. Although it is an obvious, important part of running a business, this one is easier said than done. I cannot stress how important it is to keep a schedule. If you wake up and you don't know what you're doing for the day, chances are you won't accomplish your goals by the end of the week. I personally like to wake up early before my kids get up and start my day. I know a lot of parents like to work after the kids go to, go to bed, but for me, I'm done for the day and usually pretty exhausted at that point. Whatever works for you, you need to figure it out and stick to it. For me, that's a 5 to 6 a.m. wake up call. I make a cup of coffee and immediately start on packaging. It's important to not be too hard on yourself. After all, you are trying to keep humans alive while running a successful business that keeps your family afloat financially. This means the kids might get a little bit more screen time than you'd like, and you'll more so than not have days that don't go exactly as planned. What I can promise is that as the kids get older, it gets easier. Once they're able to get themselves ready, get their own snacks, and have more household responsibilities, it frees up some time for you to concentrate on work. You might even get a live-in assistant one day. Until then, try not to stress too badly if you're not quite getting the amount of work done as you want to. I write this to you as I try to multitask getting kids ready for school, packages out the door, and getting myself ready to head to the thrift store. Yesterday, I made a failed attempt at making a video out of it, but sometimes you just have to say no or turn down opportunities based on your priorities and not get down about it. I am able to write this all down for you in my typical hot mess mom fashion and have the lovely Karina read it aloud for me. Stay safe, stay sane, and keep slaying from home. Jen, owner of Evalia Collection and Evalia Soaping Company. So I don't know about you guys, but I definitely learned some tips from all of these submissions. I hope you guys did as well, but now I'm gonna share with you guys some of my tips. 
The first tip that I have from you actually comes from a book that I read a few years ago, but it's from Shonda Rhimes' Year of Yes. In this book, Shonda Rhimes is doing an experiment where she says yes to every opportunity that comes her way. It's kind of like Yes Man, that movie with Jim Carrey, but what I loved a lot about what Shonda Rhimes was doing was even if she was working and she was busy on a project, if her daughter asked her if she would play with her, she would drop what she was doing and she would spend a few minutes playing with her daughter. And I know that for myself at least, that was really hard at first for me. Whenever my daughter would ask me if I would play with her and I was busy like photographing or doing something, I'd always ask her to wait five minutes or to tell her that I was doing something at the moment that I would play with her later. And at the age that she's at right now, four years old, and even when she was younger, I feel like she wasn't fully understanding that it wasn't because I didn't want to play with her, but I was doing something else. So I've tried to be more attentive when my daughter is asking me to play. Even if I am busy, I do try to stop what I'm doing because at the end of the day, posting something on social media or, you know, waiting 30 minutes to post a new item up on Poshmark isn't really going to make that big of a difference. But telling my daughter no or telling her to wait and not giving her the attention that she needs at that moment is what's important. One of the reasons why I wanted to be a full-time reseller at home was so that I could spend time with my daughter. And if I'm constantly telling her to wait or that I'm busy at the moment, it kind of defeats the purpose, right? So, I've made a promise to myself that I'm going to listen to my daughter more and if she wants you know to hang out for a few minutes I can pause what I'm doing and spend some time with her do something with her for a few minutes take her on what she calls adventures which is like going to the grocery store she calls those adventures um, like just doing something little with her taking her to the pet store so she can see the animals or doing something anything that will make her know that she is my priority the next tip, surprise, surprise, comes from another book, and it is Fringe Hours by Jessica N. Turner. And I actually read this book while I was still working my full-time job, and this book is all about making time for things that are important to you. So if reselling is like a side hustle for you and you're trying to balance, you know, your full-time job or a part-time job and parenting or school or anything like that, I highly recommend reading this book because it helps you find pockets of time, those fringe hours, so that you can accomplish the things that you want to get done. I feel like this applies really well to reselling because there are so many like little tasks that we do that can take up a lot of time but if you break them up and fit them into your little pockets that you find every now and then then it kind of makes it a little bit easier to manage. For example, I know that I use automation for sharing my closet and I know that a lot of you guys do that as well but I know that there are some people who are still opposed to that and that is totally fine. You are 100% free to run your business however you feel works best for you. When I was personally sharing my closet by myself, I hated it. I hated sitting there and you know clicking each thing. I felt like I was taking up so much time. So what I learned instead was while I was waiting for something, like say I was waiting in line to buy something through the drive-thru, during that time that I'm waiting, I'm gonna share my closet. Even if I only share 15 pieces, that's fine. I did a little bit. Then when I'm waiting in the grocery store and I'm waiting in line there, instead of scrolling through Instagram, I'm gonna share a couple more items. One of the examples that she used was like, if you want to read a book, always carry that book with you. And if you're, say, waiting at your kid's school to pick them up, pop that book out and read it a little bit. That's why I like to have a Kindle, the Kindle app on my phone so I can just read whenever I want. Then again, reading isn't really an issue for me. Me, but you kind of get what I'm saying. Any task that you have that maybe you worked on in bulk earlier in the week, you can kind of fit into those little fringe hours when you find pockets of time that aren't being filled with anything productive. I hope that makes sense. I feel like I was kind of jumbled. But anyway, and my last tip is to involve your kids in what you're doing. Jen touched on this a little bit in what she was saying, but I do bring my daughter sourcing with me a lot and she 
loves it i don't know what it is maybe i just lucked out or because i've been bringing her sourcing with me since she was a baby but she loves to flip through the clothes and pretend like she's sourcing as well one thing that really works with my daughter is that i'll promise her that she can look at the toys when i'm done sourcing through all the clothes and that kind of gives her an incentive to behave and to kind of be patient with me and then I'll promise her like she can pick out a toy or she can pick something out and that usually works. I know that that doesn't work with all kids but maybe um, figuring out a way to kind of compromise with your kid can help you bring them along while you're sourcing. That is it for my tips. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are a fellow reseller parent and you guys have some extra tips that you want to share, definitely leave those down in the comments. I would love to hear from you guys. And don't forget to watch Ashley's video over on her channel. That will also be linked in the description box. All I have to say for you guys is good luck this year. I know I'm going to need it. I truly don't know how I'm going to behave once my daughter is in school, like on a regular routine schedule. I feel like even though we're not 100% sure yet if she's going, she hasn't been like fully accepted yet. Um, I don't know, I'm getting anxiety about it. I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to feel having her away from me for that long. So if you guys have any tips for me, <laughs> definitely leave those down in the comments down below. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it for you. I enjoyed having all of these women collaborate in this video as well. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye!